Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. So I'm coming at you with a bit of a haul, um, clothing and beauty. So I ran out of some things um, that I needed at Ulta. And while I was at Ulta, I stopped by Ann Taylor Loft um, and got some clothes, got some spring clothes. So I had a $25, um, I guess it's like a, it's not a style card, but a $25 voucher, I guess, for Ann Taylor Loft uh, that was going to expire next week. And while I was in the city, I went ahead and stopped by to pick up some things, some work clothes, and just kind of look at their spring line. And of course, I had $25 that I didn't want to lose, and then you end up spending $135 to not lose $25. Yeah, it it's not good. When I go into loft, it never ends well. Uh, I used to work at Ann Taylor Loft about 10 years ago. I worked in retail when I lived in Atlanta, and I loved working there, and I just kind of fell in love with their clothes. They have petite, which is what I have to have in my pants and my dresses, or else I have to get them altered. I can wear normal tops. This top actually did come from Loft, and I love it. Um, it is one of the Lou and Gray. It's like their Lou and Gray line. It's got these little puffy sleeves. It's this, and it, I don't know if you can't really see the fabric, but it's like a, um, yeah, it's not fleece, but it's, I, I don't know. I don't know what the fabric is, but I love it. It's longer, so I can wear it with um, skinny jeans. And I have worn it a ton since I got it. I got it on clearance the last time I was in loft. And it's just a really good staple piece to have in my wardrobe. I love the color. It's kind of a lilac color. And the Lou and Gray stuff tends to be a lot more expensive, and it's rarely on sale. So when I find something Lou and Gray in my size on sale, I like to snatch it up because... It is really comfy. That line is just kind of a, more of a loungy kind of comfy line. Anyway, I'm rambling. Okay, so let's get into what I got. All right, so I love dresses. I love dresses in the summer. I prefer to wear dresses in the summer over shorts just because they're easy. You don't have to think about pairing a top and a bottom. I love dresses. So I wear dresses pretty much year round if I can get away with it. Sometimes at work, it's just not practical. And I do wear pants, which I bought some new pants. I'll show you. But this is one of the dresses I got at Loft. It was on clearance for $39.99. And it is just a, um, like a swing dress kind of. But I love the collar, it's or the neckline, it's square. And then the sleeves are kind of gathered, so they puff up a little bit. And then at the bottom, they have a band. And I just absolutely love this little dress. I think it's adorable. It is black and white, so I can wear some black flats with it. Or if I don't want to wear it now, because again, it's snowing again outside, um, I can totally put some black tights with this and some black flats. It looks super cute. Um, yeah, so that was that little dress. And then the other dress I got, and then I will tell you guys what happened when I got to the register. I'm just going to show all the clothes and then I'll tell my story as to what happened. This dress is one of their newer arrivals and oh my gosh, as soon as I saw it, I knew, I knew, I knew that I had to have it. I'm tying a little thing right here so you can get a better idea. Okay. So it's a navy dress. It's got a little tie in the front. Kind of a, not a swing dress, but it was swing dress without the belt, if you wanted to wear it that way, but the belt really makes it look cute. But the thing that sold me on this are these sleeves. Okay, so if you can see, these sleeves have these little like furry things, not furry, uh, strings, kind of stringy things on them. And when you have the dress on, the sleeve kind of puffs out up here and it's kind of a bigger sleeve. And it just looks so cute. I absolutely love it. It is um, kind of a jersey material. My favorite material. Most of my dresses are made out of this material. This dress was $79.50, um, normal price. But again, normal price was $79.50. But I'll tell you what happens to me when I get up to the register. Okay. So then I got this dress. Now this is very springy. I was I was really in the spring mood when I got this. And I'm glad I got it. I love it. And I will get a lot of wear out of it. And it has the string too. Let me. 
hair has a tie. So, my favorite color is blue. Um, I love blue and purple. Blue, blue more so than purple, but anytime I wear blue, I always get compliments because my eyes are, my eyes are super blue, and when you put blue up to them, that really makes them pop. So, this dress is adorable. It's so cute. At the bottom, it's got like different colors here. And I just think with some nude sandals in the summertime, this will be so cute. And I also have a white denim jacket. You guys know I love me some denim jackets. And I've got a white one that I think would just be adorable with this. I did try it on that day I went into Loft. I had on my denim jacket I got from my Transcend. And I tried it on with this and it did not look that great. But I think a white one will look beautiful with this dress in the summertime or the springtime. And yeah, I think I will get a lot of wear out of that. And when it gets really hot here, I can wear it with just sandals and no like jacket over it. And I have to be in Phoenix um, a week in July. Yes, I said Phoenix in July for a week for work. It's like 114 degrees. So I definitely think that will be a really cute dress to take. It's a work event, so you know, no denim or anything. You need to kind of dress up a little bit, but I think that will be an adorable dress to take for that. Um, okay, so that was all the dresses. Oh, I didn't tell you. This one was uh, $79.50 as well. All right, so then I got this top again with the blue. I told you blue is my favorite color. Um, this is just a blue kind of silky top, but it does have this beautiful detail on the sleeves. You can see the sleeves are kind of have some pretty stitching on them. And it's longer in the back, shorter in the front. It's a high-low. It's got some pleating on the back. But it's just a beautiful, classic blouse that I can wear to work. I just really, really love it. I think it's just beautiful. Um, it fit really well. It just looks really classy, really nice. And it was $49.50, regular price. Um, I tried this on, and I immediately was just like, okay, I, I really need that blouse. This is the perfect thing for me to wear to work. It is a little sheer, um, but when you put it on, oddly enough, you couldn't really see like my bra or anything. So I don't know if I'll wear a cami with it or not, maybe. But I just thought it would be so pretty to put this on with a pretty necklace and or maybe some pretty like dangly earrings um, for work. So really love that top. And I got these pants to go with it. These pants were originally $79.50 as well, and they are kind of a gray and white. They've got like a little bit of a pattern to them. They are ankle length. I typically don't like ankle length, but in the spring and summer with sandals, I just think, I think it's pretty. If you do it, you know, I can put on some heels with them or whatever, some new heels. But I love loft work pants. I have some loft work pants that I have had for years and they hold up so well. They're worth the money, but I didn't really have a lot of um, lighter colored ones. Most of mine are either black or navy. Um, so I got these. They have some pretty light details in the back pockets, some little gold buttons. And yeah, I just really love those. They're high weight. They've uh, got the band around the waist and no belt loops. So what I did is I got this top and tucked it into this. And it looked so good because you can see that band around the waist. Okay, the next thing I got, and this is the last thing I got, were just some khaki pants. And again, these are um, ankle length. They've got the cuff at the bottom. And these do have belt loops. Um, so you could wear a little belt with these. And they are just a really, really nice fabric. They're really thick. The fabric is kind of a, got kind of a sheen to it, like a sateen kind of um, fabric. But I just think they're beautiful. And again, loft pants just last forever. These were um, $69.50. Okay, so I told you the prices of everything. So I get up to the register, and I did notice a sign um, in the store that said 40% um, off. I think there was some clearance racks that were 40% off. It's like, okay, so I get up to the register, and um, I had all those things, and I knew how much it was going to be, right? So... No surprise there. So I get up to the register and the girl says, um, are you a loft car holder? And I said, yeah, I am. And I've had a loft card for years. And if you don't have a store card um, I would, and you like loft, I would highly recommend their card because 
you get so many perks with their card and it's one of those cards that you can just turn around right in the store and pay off so you get to take advantage of the coupons and the perks and the like free previews and all of that kind of stuff and then you can just turn right around and make a payment which is what i do so you don't have any interest on your card um so i said yeah sure i'm a card member and she said well today is our preview day so if you are a card holder you get 40 percent off of your entire purchase even the newer stuff is not just clearance wow that's really great like and because it's the first tuesday of every month if you don't know at loft the first Tuesday of every month, you get an additional 15% off. Holy crap. Okay, so right there, I'm getting 55% off, 40 and then another 15. Well, I have my $25 little credit. That, that was the whole reason I went into Loft anyway was to use that. So another 25% off. And then she says, um, you have just a regular Loft card. If you want to upgrade to the Loft MasterCard, then you can get another 20% off on top of all that other stuff. So I'm doing the math in my head and I'm thinking, holy cow, 40 plus 20, that's 60. Then another 15, that's 75. I get 75% off plus another $25 off of that. So that's what I did. And I ended up getting, now keep in mind the, um, Two dresses were each $80. So just for the two dresses would have been $160. I got three dresses, two pairs of pants, and the blouse. And my total came to $157.03. $157.03 for all of that. And the total before all of those discounts was like $300 almost $360. So basically I saved a ton of money. Now it should have been even lower than that, but it turns out that a couple of those, I think the blouse and one of the dresses were already marked down the 40%. So on those, I just got the 15% and the 20% off. So that's why it would have been even lower, but a couple of those are already marked down. So I guess the 40% off wasn't on clearance items it was just on like full price items but still i was ecstatic with that so yeah i was really really happy um i think it was a great deal i love everything that i got and now if it'll just get warm weather i can wear it all okay so the next place i went was ulta so as you guys know i've been waiting um if I run out of something before I buy new. And while I was at Ulta, I went ahead, I knew I was getting low on my eyebrow pencil. I knew I was getting low on my dry shampoo. Um, I had ran out of it, my serum, my Dr. Dark Sick Pair serum, I had ran out of it. Um, and then I bought a couple other little things that I've been wanting to try while I was there. So um, I got the two Batiste, um, I got the Fresh Scent. These were buy one, get one 40% off. So while I was there, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do the buy one, get one 40. So I got two more of the Batiste straw shampoos. Um, I went ahead and got another of the NYX um, eyebrow pencil because um, I knew I was almost out of my, I've been using the Maybelline one and they haven't had my color the past couple times at Walmart here. So while I was at, um, Ulta. I went ahead and got the NYX. They're very, very similar. I just buy the um, Maybelline one because we don't have a place that sells NYX in my town. So I've just switched over to Maybelline. But if I'm at Ulta while I'm there, um, these were on sale. So I went ahead and got two of these and I got the color taupe, I think. Yeah, taupe is what I normally wear. But this is the NYX Micro Bar Pencil. I also picked up some serums so I was out of my Dr. Dark Sick Pair serum and these two I've really been wanting to try and I have been using them the past couple days and they're really really good I want to wait until I have used them for a month or so before I do a proper review on them but I got the number seven protect and perfect intense advanced serum and this is a day and night serum and it does have a pump which is great so just do one pump 
after I cleanse and tone, I do a pump of that. And I love the smell of it so far. I love it. My skin feels great. It feels really soft. But again, I want to wait until I've used it for a while before I actually do a review on it. And then I also picked up the Julep Boost Your Radiance. So I had seen a lot about this. And it is an oil. So I love facial oils. This is an oil. And what I've been doing is taking just two drops of this. So when you pull the dropper out, it is full. So I've been literally doing one, two, and mixing with my moisturizer in the morning and at night. So I just take my moisturizer, put it out in my hand, put two drops of that, mix it together and put it on my face. So far, I love it. I am gonna try using it on its own and see if that makes a difference, but so far, so good. No breakouts, no irritation, no anything. Really like it so far. I also picked up one of the Mario Badescu um, facial mists and I got the one with green tea. I've been hearing so much about this. Um, Emily from Emily Noel, she raves about this. This was actually in her Emily. Sorry guys, I had a, a phone call come through and messed my phone up. Anyway, um, Emily had this in her Emily Awards at the end of the year. So far, I love it. I've used it a couple times. I just got this stuff a few days ago. so. I really like it. I like the smell. I think, though, I would like the one with the rose hip better um, as far as the smell goes. So, I don't know. I may try that one next, but so far, I really like it. Again, I want to use it for a little while before I do a solid review. I also picked up the Revolution Conceal and Define. I had heard this was a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, um, but I got the wrong color. So I got, this is way too dark for me. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm just going to take it back and exchange it. Ulta is fabulous about their exchange policy. I have my receipt. I used it one time, saw that it was too dark, put it right back in the bag. So I'm going to return this for a different color. But I loved it. The time I used it, I did, I left it on. Even though it was a little dark, I left it on. And I just put some powder underneath. And man, did it cover. It was really, really good. So this is C7. I don't know what the heck I was thinking about getting a color that dark. But anyway, um, yeah, I really, really like it. And the applicator looks exactly like the Tarte Shape Tape. So anyway, there's that. I will exchange it for a different color and then update you guys on what I think about it. And then the last two things I got, um, I got a lipstick. So I've been wanting to try the Essence lipsticks. They're so cheap. And um, I've heard really good things about them. So I got this color. This is in 06. It's one of the instant color. This is not a matte. I do not do matte lipstick. My lips are far too dry. It just does not work. Um, but this is what I'm wearing today. And hold on a little bit more. It is such a perfect nude for me. So it's kind of that mauve little bit of brown in it. Amazing, amazing color. Love this stuff. Um, I can definitely see me getting more of these, but I wanted just a kind of a nice mauve, um, your lips but better color just to throw in my bag. And this is great. And I don't know how much, let's see how much that was. I don't even know. I know they're not expensive. Essence, uh, $4.99. And I used a coupon. It came down to $4.76 all day long on this for $4.76. Really, really like that. All right. And then the last thing I got at Ulta was the Ulta Beauty Bronze Glow Self-Tanning Tinted Lotion. So I use my Rodan and Fields foam, my um, self-tanning foam. I use it all the time. But I also like to use a bronzing lotion, kind of like the Jergens. Uh, natural glow and I had ran out of that the Jergens natural glow so because I ran out of that I allowed myself to buy something different and I stood there at Ulta and I looked at the Saint Tropez for a long long time and then right next to it was this store Ulta brand and I thought you know what I'm huge on buying store brands if you know I mean most of the time it's the same dang thing so I'm gonna try this. I did put it on last night and it did a great job. Um, I don't feel like I look orangey. It looks very natural um, and it smells really good. It doesn't smell and it's tinted so you can kind of see where you're putting it. And I got the light to medium. Um, it doesn't smell like a self tanner or a tinted moisturizer at all. It's got like a 
really clean, almost like a soap scent, but it smells really good. And this morning I did not, there was no transfer on my sheets and I did not smell like self tanner, which is huge for me. I can't stand that smell. Um, but this actually smelled really good and I hope it works out. I'm going to keep using it. $9.52. So the Saint Tropez one was like 30 bucks and this was under $10. I had a $3.50 off coupon at Ulta, so can't go wrong. And the one thing I love about Ulta over Sephora is if there's something that I can buy at Ulta, I always buy it at Ulta because you can actually redeem your points for money, for, for money off of your purchase. At Sephora, you just get the gifts, which, I mean, let's be honest, sometimes, I, I mean, I just accumulate points at Sephora for my gifts and until there's something that is even decent. I do like their birthday gifts, that's where I got that little tart blush, but at Ulta, they actually, there was a lady in line with me and she had accumulated so many points that she literally got like 20 something dollars off of her purchase that day. So, you know, if I can buy it at Ulta, I try to, um, but we just don't have an Ulta here where I'm at. So I have to wait until I'm actually in the city or order it online, which is fine if it's something that I've used before and I know exactly what to get and what to order. But if it's something like this that I actually want to see and feel and touch like skincare before I buy it, then I like to go in store. All right. I feel like I've been talking forever. That was a lot of stuff. And what I want to do is keep using these things and then do a haul update for you guys. That way I can let you know really what I think, but I've only been using them for a couple days. In a couple days, I really like them, but you know, the tried and true test is if you've used it up or if you've been using it for at least a month to six weeks. So I will update everybody on those things, but I can already tell you that I do love the Essence lipstick. I love it. And um, I love the concealer. I just need to get a lighter shade. So um, that's it, guys. Stay warm, stay dry, and have a great rest of your week. Talk to you guys later. See you in my next one. Bye.